Guys, welcome to the Dubai Marina Walkway. We are standing right outside Stella Maris and we are going to go into this building yet again. We're going to do another video walkthrough here today and this is a nice one. This is uh, a one bed, it's an 031 bed on the ninth floor, right in the central column of the building. So the views from this unit are phenomenal because the balcony protrudes out from the front of the building and the angle of the bedroom glass, the windows uh, in the bedroom are angled such that you can see from the north end of the marina, the towers at the northeast end of the marina, all the way down the marina canal, all the way to the West Bay York Marina, to where the canal exits out into the sea. So very, very good, uh, very, very good views indeed. This is a desirable unit, so going to be interesting. A very nice unit indeed, lovely view. So come on, let's go and check it out. Okay guys, here we are 903, a very nice unit, right in the central column of the building. At the pre-snag stage, there's more or less, there's the intercom system there, uh, some switches still under uh, polythene wrapping there, the architrave still wrapped up. This is the powder room, excuse my reflection in the mirror ahead of you, this will give you a sense of what it's all about. Uh, Villaroy and Boch, nice, uh, nice sink there, vanity unit. It's grohe uh, for the uh, the bathroom accessories. That's nice mosaic in the back wall. So a very nice powder room, no question about it. It's a premium unit. It's a premium one bed, so it's got a powder room, and it's got an island kitchen. All the units at Stella Maris, in actual fact, have island kitchens. It's soft close drawers, which I shall demonstrate to you in a second. That's where the uh, dishwasher's going to go in there. Soft closed drawers, that's an engineered granite worktop, sink in there, uh, and the cooker and the extractor, and the fridge is going to be on the left there, that's a cupboard on the right, so a nice, very elegant kitchen, very elegant and very, uh, very contemporary. So uh, plenty of space as well, it's quite a large kitchen, and it's a breakfast bar to the front, so you'll be able to stand here making coffee, preparing meals, and the view without that scaffolding is going to be very nice. Unfortunately, uh, they're doing some work out here, so uh, I'm going to be able to give you a sense of what the view's all about. But to give you a sense of the size of the unit, it's 2.9 metre uh, ceilings, 2.9 metre windows, uh, floor to ceiling, over onto the other side. Let's swivel it around, give you a sense of how big the, the room is and uh, this is uh, a nice size of room. It's a 90 square metre apartment, 975 square feet. That's a big one bed in the Dubai Marina. Breakfast bar there. And uh, this balcony with a beautiful glass, glass wrapped, stunning uh, views. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get out onto this balcony. I probably shouldn't, but I will, um, just to give you a sense of what it's all about. It's big enough for a, a small table, and uh, it'll be nice to sit out there, have a coffee, a glass of wine, eat meals, enjoy the sunset. So into the apartment again, I'm going to show you the bedroom. I want to show you the uh, dressing area. 
Uh, it's a premium apartment, so it has a separate dressing area. It's got an ensuite, of course. It's a decent size of dressing area. Uh, plenty of cupboard space and uh, nice doors. It'll be um, there'll be lighting inside the cupboards. It will be soft closed doors, of course, and they will go in right here. Uh, so very nice indeed, and space to dress. That's a support pillar for the building there in actual fact, they've made a little feature out of this recess. You could put an additional cupboard in there or a bit of furniture for decoration etc. It's a little bit dark in this bathroom so I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use my phone torch to try and give you a sense of what it's all about. I've done a video on the interiors, uh, the show apartment and uh, you know that will give you a good sense of what you can expect at Handover. But this will try and give you a flavour of what uh, the size of the bathroom, the finishes, uh, in as much as we can. The electricity is turned off here, but the tiling is nice, uh, very clean lines, a very pretty bathroom, very harmonious, and it's a good size of bathroom as well. This is a one bed in the Dubai Marina, and this is therefore a massive ensuite of bathroom, quite frankly. Good size of mirror there, Villaroy and Boch. Uh, vanity unit, grow hay for all their bathroom accessories, absolutely lovely. Contemporary, there'll be a light goes under here, uh, and right underneath it in actual fact for nighttime use. I love the mosaic in these bathrooms. I like the clean lines of the bathrooms uh, and they're very modern and very contemporary. So although the uh, unit's still under construction, believe me, when you take delivery of it, before you take delivery of it, you do an inspection, a snagging inspection. We go around it together and, uh, you know, because that is the case, they will turn the unit over to you in perfect condition. You have got a lot of space. It is a large bathroom. Uh, even this lovely towel rail, grohe, very clean lines down to this black granite threshold that is the theme of all the doors. You get that black granite threshold on your entrance coming in off the common hallway as well. And there's a quick look at the skirting. The floor is uh, covered here, the floor is tiled obviously, it's covered up there with that blue polythene to protect it. So to give you a sense of the size of the bedroom, good size of bedroom, this is the back wall, this is where your uh, headboard would likely go. Uh, all plugged in for electricity. So yeah, a decent size of bedroom, no doubt about it. This is a one bed, and this has uh, these lovely windows, fantastic views, that's a great view. That's the sunset view there. And the windows are angled, uh, as you will see in a sec, to give the best possible view of the marina. Look at that, that is fantastic. That is one of the things I like about Stella Maris. They bolted the glass onto the exterior of the building. So you stand up, albeit that these windows need a clean, but when you stand up next to your, your windows, you can see straight down almost uh, to what's going on beneath you. And you're not so high, this is the ninth floor, so you're not so high that you are out of touch with what's going on beneath you. There's a lot of life going on down there. It's lovely at night. Uh, and by being, uh, you know, in the ninth floor, it is a great vantage point. The views are great, but you're still connected with what's going on beneath you. I personally like that. I think that's a stunning view. I think it's going to be absolutely magical at night. There's a lot of uh, activity in the evenings uh, with the, the boats. Wonderful unit with a, a window that will open for ventilation purposes. These windows need to be unwrapped. That white that you see on it, that is, uh, that, that's white polythene that will come off. That's the balcony divider, dark glass balcony divider that go on to all uh, balconies for privacy purposes to separate and demark each of the balconies of each of the various units. That's the sunset view. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. This is the communal areas. I wanted to show you this. This is the lifts around. Uh, that goes round all the lifts. There's five lifts running up and down the central core of Stella Maris, five high speed lifts, and uh, this Italian marble is absolutely stunning. 
absolutely gorgeous. The lift doors will be rose gold. So the rose gold lift doors with this uh, beautiful, rich uh, Italian marble. What a nice uh, effect that's going to be. Very, very luxurious, very pleasant. It's going to be a gorgeous space. Absolutely stepping out of this into your home or stepping into this to, uh, to go out. Uh, into the city. Wonderful high speed lifts as I was saying. It's a low density building. Stella Maris has 52 floors to the roof of the penthouse. Uh, it has five lifts running through it. They're fast lifts. There are only 313 units. So it's a low density building. The waiting times will be cut down to an absolute minimum as a result of that. This is the gym guys. Um, nice big big gym. It's on the fourth floor. And this view here is the same view out of the apartment 903 because it's to the front of the building. So they're going to put the uh, the exercise out. It'll be high quality uh, equipment that goes into this. It'll be a commercial style gym. So when you're on the step or the running machine, etc., you'll be able to stand here and enjoy this view. There's balcony access. This gym has a balcony to the front of the building. Tall, uh, tall ceilings. They've made a real nice feature of the gym. And uh, you know, these are great views as well. Fantastic place to do a workout. Back into the apartment, let us take a look at the balcony. Again, I should not be doing this, but no stone unturned for my clients or interested parties. Uh, that's where that dark glass balcony divider will go. On the other side of that is your neighbour's balcony. And this balcony, as we were discussing, juts out, it protrudes out to the front of the building. That is what allows you to have these mesmerising views. And although the, uh, the scaffolding is getting in the way here, you can see that. This unit gets the sun all afternoon and uh, it gets the sunset view at night and uh, as the sun slips beneath the horizon and these lights come on around the marina, around the marina walkway, these buildings, absolutely gorgeous.